Okay, so we go to H5P. Okay, this H5P is a platform which you need. It's like Kahoot. It's a platform which exists outside the system. I will just briefly show you what the system can do because there's no time for me to cover the whole thing. I will show you briefly what the system can do. Okay, so now Zul has his account. He has logged into his account. Okay, so go to your account, Zul. Show your content. Show your content view all. Okay, now Zul has uh, content, he has created content. Okay, now remember earlier we used to tell you, uh, we used to tell you, uh, ask the student to watch a YouTube video and then answer the question. Have you all done it? Yeah. Watch the YouTube video and, but how do you know whether the student actually watched the video? Uh -huh. You yeah. don't know. Maybe they just didn't watch the video and they went to their friend and they <laughs> just say copy. Okay, so you don't know, right? Now H5P got something known as interactive video. Okay, so I will show you an interactive video as well. You can make out, okay, you can, any one of this, I think, safety, uh, safety video, okay. I'll go to safety video, it's a generic video. We have made you to teach, but we will be doing one IDP course fully on H5P because teaching you H5P takes one day. It's a very simple software, but it has too many functions which you can use, okay. So now this is a safety video. I told my student, before you enter the lab, watch the video and then only you and answer the correct question then only you can enter the lab for example the safety video now the student starts watching zoom 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 to that almost the end okay so you zoom on okay see what will happen so now it gives you instruction okay safety switch demo and then it stops okay now it asks the question the student cannot push the video forward they cannot move the video anyway until they answer the correct okay so it says what is the first step in safety switch checking is it checking the size? So the, inside this few minutes, it, they have given a description of that. So it says yes. For example, it says true. Just click true. Okay. If you click and then you check, uh, then it allows you to continue. Okay. So if the student click false, you so will try again. Refresh and try. So I'll show you what happens if you try. It, it will loop. It will ask the student to go back to the beginning and listen to the next. So just go back and loop, okay? So let him do it again. Okay, false. Oh, you will have to click false, click here. No, it won't. It will have to refresh, refresh, refresh. refresh. So once you are true, it allows you to go back, but false, he has to refresh. Okay, click. Click. Huh? See what happens if it's false. If it is false, it goes there. Okay. Okay, now click false. And then Salah, then wrong, then no, you cannot go back. So when you click, it will tell you to watch, so you have to watch. So this, this big blue button has been designed by educators for students. So what it does, it has formative, formative assessment and it has one summative at the end. So you can have the summative at the end of the video. So this is very good for any video involving a process. For example, process of identification, process of extraction, process of, for example, you can do your process videos. And with H5P, you don't have to create your own content because the content is created from YouTube. Okay? I will show you. I'll uh, if you all have, give me. You can give me 10 minutes. I will show you how it's done. Okay? Zul, we can create one. Just create one. Okay. My account. Try out H5P. I will just show you all how it's done. Just very briefly. Okay, so we want to create a video, right? So we just create interactive video. Wait for it to load. Okay, so I interactive video. Here, click interactive video. So this one, you can create quiz, you can create forum, you can create, uh, you can create jigsaw puzzle, you can create. You can. It has many functionality. That's why I need you to attend a whole IDP course to learn it. The full. It takes a day to teach you the functionality. I will just show you how it's done. So video is very easy. So you just go to uh, YouTube, go to YouTube. So you'll ask me about copyright, right? When you use video in H5P, there's no issue of copyright because you're not downloading and uploading video. It's part of the, you're embedding video. Just, you're, so you're giving the benefit to the video content creator. So you just, just to, just to aquaculture of something, tilapia or something, aquaculture, tilapia. Just put tilapia, uh, just put fish from me. Just click any, any other. Uh, click on the documentary. Yeah, I click there. Okay, now suppose this is the documentary on aquaculture. Okay, 
I do the whole documentary. But I want to, for example, I want to teach the student uh, how to estimate water quality. You need to check whether the video actually has that content, how to measure water quality, how to measure nitrate, DO, whatever you measure nitrate, how to harvest the fish. It should be in the video. You can just copy the video. So you just copy, you share, share the video, okay. Copy the link and then you put it in your video. Okay, click here, done. So this one requires training, so control V. So now your video is inside, insert. The video is already embedded into the HYP. You add interaction. Ah, so your video will be there. Now, as a lecturer, we'll watch the whole video and we'll find the point at which you set up questions. So, for example, you, we don't know this video, so we have not watched it. So it's a 28 minute video. So there may be after five minutes, you can ask one question based on the first five minute content. Then the next five minute content. So it's there, so it's all there. So just move forward, forward, forward. Okay, I okay, suppose. So everything is there. So, okay. In this, for example, they are doing feeding, okay, each culture. You want to add a question, you can add here. True, false? Uh, you can add a true, false. You can add objective. It's, it's all very simple. If you're like used, used to computer, right? It's very, very simple. It just asks you. So, so this. So, okay, okay. Okay, just click here, poster. Zone. Poster. Uh, you tell me something about fish, I don't know you. Okay, so the question will be, uh, for example, is, is uh, for example, right, is dissolved oxygen important for, is oxygen important for fish culture? Just right, is oxygen important for fish culture? Oh, a statement, oxygen is important for fish culture, is a state question. Oxygen is important for fish culture, yes, so oxygen is important, is important for fish growth, just put uh, random, for fish, okay, so true or false, right? So the correct answer is true, right? So be, uh, go down to adaptivity, okay? And then action on all wrong. Uh, require full score. Require full score before. Require full score. Seen it. Require full score. So they need to have the full score. Okay, save now. Done. Only one button which is. Okay, so save. Okay, just save. Okay. okay. Can give them other whatever you want to give. Done. Okay, so, so move forward, move forward. Okay, so now it says the video play, 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 and so on and so forth. Uh, tell you and then it stops. So you can use this as a very interactive way for student to learn outside the classroom. Is that yours also? Is that your from IPMB? No, from somewhere else. Indonesian. Indonesian. Oh, okay, okay. So that's it. Okay, so move forward, move forward. What did that Karapu? Okay, see, it'll stop and it should stop here now. They use pipe, PVC, fiber. Okay, wow, that's nice. Cage culture. So, stop. stop. It stopped the video there. So, yes, true or false. So, you click. It's saved already, Zul? Save, save, save. Save, save, save. So, now we know the interaction. Just put a title. True or false. Just put. Yes, sir. <laughs> so now Zul's content is there. In fact, if one of us create content, all of you all can clone it. So suppose I create content, you want to improve, you want to add more questions, you can clone. So it's shared, H5P is like that. It's a, it's a social networking platform. So yeah, go move forward, then it'll stop. So it'll move forward and then it'll stop. Okay, so, okay, now it will ask you the question, true or false, and if you click, it will, oh, false, okay, false, and if you click check, then it will ask again, so it will ask you to retry, retry meaning you, you retry, plus retry. <laughs> see the, see the eye, okay, it allow you to try again, so this one he allowed to try, so can try. Uh, so this one should not be done here because we need to do a setting for the true false, it will lock. Okay. Yeah, I saved it. It's not saved, so it's okay. So that's how you know, right? So that's how it's done. Okay, so you close. Okay, so these are some of the additional features which are there in the Smart 3, which are not there in Smart 2.
You need to embed later on. We show. Now, now we don't do it. So, do you all, will you all be using this H5P? You all are planning to use? Oh, uh, we'll, we'll see. So, if you all need it, Dr. Sujat, we'll have to have a special tutorial for the lecturer who are interested in the. If you need in IPMB, we can set, set up a tutorial for them because I need to help them with the individual setups okay. because it's different for different user. Okay, so done, right, Joel? This one also is free. Yeah, it's